now, but yesterday, Megan and um, what's his name? Daniel was trending. So you guys know this has to do with Miss Taylor case, right? So Miss Taylor, she was left this earth due to the police, okay? And you know what? This is how I feel about it. I feel like whoever popped Miss Taylor should be behind boss. And I want to know how do y'all feel about that? Do you feel like whoever the popo was that popped be around, be, uh, Miss Taylor should be behind bars, press 20? Or do you feel like it was just a mistake that the popos should not be behind bars? Whoever popped Miss Taylor, press 21. Comment, let us know. 20, if you feel like the popos that popped Miss Taylor should be behind bars. 21, if you feel like, nope, it was just a mistake and um, she was dealing with drug dealers anyway, so she had to come and press 21 because that's the narrative that they're trying to spin. Um, they need to be locked up. I feel like this way too. And um, I don't know, to me, I feel like those popos, okay, so they say it was some popos outside of her, her, her place, right? And they was busting up in the house. So her boyfriend at the time, you know, popped, you know, he did up, he fired off because he thought somebody was breaking in, right? So they said once he fired off, then the popos just started spraying up the place. Pop, 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 right? And they didn't have no regard if it was kids up in that place. They didn't know who was up in that place. Don't, do you think it was irresponsible for those popos to just start spraying the place and they don't even know who they're spraying. I just think that's very irresponsible and that's very reckless. And I think that's very savage. And I think it's very dangerous. And I want to know, what do you guys think? You know, 25, if you feel like the popo spraying the place and not knowing who they're spraying is irresponsible, press 25. 26, if you feel like they was just defending themselves and they the popos, they were scared. They just had to do what they had to do, you know? 25, if you feel like it was irresponsible and it was reckless. 26, if you feel like they were scared and they was just there trying to protect themselves because one day man's got hit, you know? Comment, let us know. Uh-huh, 25 against, I'm not protecting the public. You can't be scared as a cop. Uh-huh, I agree with you, and I feel this way too. Put it like this. Could you imagine if um, a president 45 or a Caucasian girl was said to be in that house? Say, for instance, it was a few Caucasian girls in the house, and you had a few Caucasian Senate people up in the house, and you had uh, like two drug dealers up in the house too, right? And they they was knocking and they bust through the door. And one of them, you know, dealers end up fired back and it hit one of them cops, right? Do you think the popos would have sprayed the place if they would have known uh, the president, 45, is up in that apartment and uh, some Caucasian people up in there too? Or do you think that's their protocol? Let's fall back. Because we don't want to injure President 45 or them Caucasian people. We got civilians in there, and we have to protect the civilians. We can't just be spraying a place because we may, you know, hit President 45. That's how I think it would have went, you know. If they did get popped and they had some people of value they felt that was in that apartment, they would have just went back and tried to figure out how to get this person out this house. I don't think they would have just sprayed the place. Going back here, you know, Miss Megan, she did a an NS damn S N L performance, right? And um, she had I forgot that lady name, but she's the advocate, and she said that Daniel, which is this man, he said he's nothing more. Then the sellouts, don't you know, back in Africa, okay, back in the 1400s, African, you know, sold their people out to the Europeans so they can take them as captive and treat them like, and, you know, they, they treated them, they were savage with it, okay? They did a horrible, illuminatious, evil 
darkest. They did a lot of dark things to these people. They broke up families. They they it they just did horrible things. You know, it's one of the most horrible things in America, and this is what we're built on here in America. Um, so you have those black people in Africa that sold other black people out for that type of situation. You know, and it happened time and time again because you got to think. Okay, so you get them, you get the boat, then you have to travel back to America, then you have to come back to get some more. And this was going on for quite some time. So these people that was selling these people out, they knew how they was being treated, and they tricked these people. You know, I heard they was lying to some black folks, like, yeah, this is going to be good for y'all. They set them up for failure, and it was their own people. So she compares him to, you know, that. And Megan, she used that tape recording on her performance, and it hit SNL, right? And so for SNL, that's a huge platform, so everybody was talking about it. However, people are saying, Daniel, he didn't have that same energy when it came to the lady that spoke about it. He didn't have this all this energy for Miss Taylor, but he has all this energy for Megan. And I feel like the reason why they have a lot of smoke for Cardi B and Megan, because they feel like Cardi B and Megan are less than. They don't value girls that are very, you know, I guess freaky deaky in their music. They see them as less than. They see them as, you know, you sh like you're a scum of the earth. They won't say it because over there they kind of fake with it, you know, but they see a lot of people as less than, you know, that lesser than them. So I feel like they feel like they're easy targets. They know their base. They know their crowd. They're going to look at Megan. They're going to look at Cardi and say, oh, my goodness, they're trash. I'm not even going to hear what they got to say because they're trash, just like they did with all these, um, these men that got popped by the police what does Fox, what do they do? They say, well, you know, Floyd, he's a criminal. He did this. He did that. And then they're basically like, oh, my God, he's a criminal. He sold drugs. He's trash. Get him out of here. Good riddance. Like, that's their excuse. They're going to use, he broke the law before. He's a lawbreaker. He's black. We don't need him. I mean, for what? I don't want to hear we got to say you're a criminal, you know, and that's their approach. And they love to target people that have a criminal background or that's not seen as like in a perfect light. They're, they're dog them out, you know, and that's just how they do over there. So I feel like the reason why they go for Cardi and Megan, because they're easy targets and they're base and it makes their base happy. But they're not going to have that same smoke for the lady that first spoke about it and advocates that, you know, has a good reputation that's not freaky. They ain't going to say nothing about them. They ain't going to say nothing towards them, but they will have time for rappers, okay, because they see them as less than as the easy target. So he got up on here and pretty much said, you know what, The this type of crowd have done this to me all my life. They only pick on me because I'm a black Republican. Yeah, girl, he got on here playing victim. He said that it's a shame that I am targeted every time by this group and they only pick on me because I'm a black Republican, you know? So you see a lot of people, I would play it, but shit, after our first video, I'm even more nervous what to play and especially when it comes to politics, so I'm gonna bypass on the play and I'm gonna look in the comment section. People are saying, please, please stop saying Uncle Tom. He was a good guy in the book. It, it is Sambo. All right. Uh, she's not calling you a sellout because of your political views. She's calling you one because you did sell out. You didn't do your job. You know, people are saying that he lied for uh, the popos and he was protecting them. He was setting up for them and he was not being really honest about the situation. And um, Charlemagne had him as donkey ass today. And what do you guys think about this? How do y'all feel about Daniel? Do you feel like he's a sellout? I'm sure you guys heard about this story. Um, if you feel like Daniel is a sellout, press 30. If you feel like this man ain't nothing, he, he's just doing his job, press 31. We want to know. He must have forgot about Ben Carson. I'm sure Uncle Tom's so sad. So um, let's go down here. He's going to cry in the car out of 
all the celebrities that called you out come at Megan. But I already told you guys, they're not going to come for um, celebrities that are articulate. They're going to come for celebrities if they have a criminal background or if they are a woman and it seems to be that they're freaky or they're too expressive. That's that's they're gonna come for them because they're based on like y'all anyway. They're based on like the Megans. They don't like the Cardis. Cardi could be so nice and she could just do freaky music. They just not gonna like her just based on that. You do criminals, you know, records, you are drugs, they just gonna place you and stereotype you as a thug or oh my goodness, you're just bad for this society, you know.